So Fat Horse has had a rather tough couple of years in South America. The time was coming where things were starting to break, one by one. But I was also nearing the heart of Patagonia. And without the bike with me, the whole map looked different and many new routes were possible. I could walk and paddle along the Ruta de los Pioneros to Villa O'Higgins and see where the water and the wind take me from there. So hello and welcome to Chile, to Patagonia. It's already kind of summer, so it's very warm, very nice weather. Not as rainy as before, um, but I think from now on I'm gonna just leave the bicycle behind for a bit and go pack rafting. I've got I've got a pack raft over here, um, right here. So there's some really cool plants, plants, plants in the future. Um, uh, hopefully the weather cooperates, hopefully the wind cooperates and uh, yeah so the plan is to go there is this uh, trail Ruta de los Pioneros which is like a very nice hiking trail but first I'm gonna do like a 120k or so detour or 100k uh, just to go around and avoid having to walk one of the roads um, there's gonna be, I mean, I have the big backpack. I just don't know like where all of this stuff goes Like to be honest, this is just a bit of a disaster uh, But I think over the next couple of days couple of weeks I'm gonna figure out what goes where how to pack How not to get my feet shoes wet even though they I didn't wear them in the water I mean, it's just wonderful. It's just amazing. Uh, Ambience. This is Laguna Cochran, I think, and I'm supposed to go about 30k that way, and then go down Portage, cross another lake, and then go down the river, then go up a road, then go up a trail, then go down the trail, then go down the river. Yeah, this is how it's gonna work going south: uh, walking and paddling. So instead of the bike wanderer, we have the boat. Wonder, boat wonder. That doesn't sound too bad.
seems just a gambler at heart ¿Cuántos perros tienes? Perro. Oh, perro ahí, como ¿Sí? Sí, que hay harta vaca y... Eh, pero de, ayuda siempre. Son de mi hijo, son. Mm. Y trabajamos con un hijo nosotros acá, pero él se fue al pueblo. A pasar en Navidad y en el Año Nuevo. Uh -huh. Sí, después viene el perro. Río, sí. Como oh, estuve en los salmones y todo eso. Uh. ¿Hay salmones por sí. acá? Sí. Estuve mucho acá. 
Claro, que ahora se bajan para el lago. Pero siempre los pozones por ahí, allá quedan siempre los, así más o menos. Y uno con anzuelo así con lumbrí, ¿Sí? ellos pican. Mm. Para comer, luego. No, estas partes son muy lindas para. son muy tranquilas. Aparte del viento, pero. Sí, en el lago es más medio, medio mañoso. Mira que se ve este cerrito que está acá último acá. Acá, sí. Este acá, así puntuito, sí. Uh -huh. Es de aquí para allá hay que para dejarlo a la derecha, no es que ahí se ve como que un así un cañoncito. Uh -huh. El otro cerrito está al ladito y ahí pasa la huella fre por el, y se va allá. Por el derecho. Sí, va, sí. Por el... Eh, eh, ¿Cuándo quiere irse? ¿Quiere irse? ¿Cuándo quiere irse? O... ¿Hoy o mañana? Sí, hoy, hoy. ¿Ah, hoy? Hoy que está temprano. ¿Eh? Sí, a mediodía. Ah, Mira, mira. Hola guapo, ¿cómo estás? Muchas gracias señora. Bueno, que le vaya muy bien. Gracias. Por ahí, ¿no? gracias. Please don't fall. I don't want to fall in the water. Yeah, good job, buddy. That was magnificent.
are you following me? Huh? Go away, cow. Go. Be a cow. Eat some grass. My god, what are you doing? <laughs> You're a funny cow. Look at these guys. Eha! <laughs> Going wild. Let's go away, guys. Guys? Give me some space. Five, three meters. Three meters passing distance. There's cows over there. Stop them. That's right, stop the cows. Stop them! Stop them! Get them! Get the cows! You're soaking wet and you stink! The dogs helped me lose the cows and I was at the mouth of another lake. It felt so good to be combining ground and water transport at the snap of a finger. And although it wasn't all rainbows and sunshine down here in Patagonia, today it kind of was. You see this riding on the wall. Oh, angel, you see this curtain fall. The time seems so far away. Just a memory. Oh. No
just making my way to the river here in the morning. Um, yesterday was just not the weather for water sports. Like I was too wet, too cold. Uh, it didn't look like it was going to get better. So today is going to be a nice day so far. We're going to go down the river, up a road, maybe to a glacier and a lake and hopefully set up camp for the night over there. It's like about uh, day six so far and it's been really amazing. I think I've gotten very lucky with the weather, but you never know, it can always rain. And then you think like, you know, it's gonna run out of rain, but there's always more. <laughs> um, but it's very nice. I'm very happy to be here in Patagonia, very happy to be moving. Kind of without the bike, so there's often times like this road, for example, I was like, man, if I had my bike here, that would be so nice. But I can't imagine strapping a bike on top of the raft in those lakes, in these conditions. So that was my first twin, swim with the raft. Um, Can these dogs swim? Can you swing?
One of the first people that inhabited this area were Senora Ana Cayuqueo, who came here in 1941 with her father and decided to make this a home to colonize this uh, beautiful countryside and live from the earth, viviendo de la tierra. After some time, Senora Ana met with who is actually su marido, Don Alberto Alvarto, and they made the first couple of a... Ah, I can't read this. This was the start of the colonization of these parts of Patagonia. And from here on now, I owe thanks for the route to the first settlers who roamed these harsh lands looking for a place to go home. Voy caminando en soledad Por un sendero ya olvidado Buscando huellas de otra edad Signos eternos enterrados Sobre las alas de un picaflor Vuelo cantándole a los vientos Gotita de agua es mi corazón Viaja en el río de los tiempos Para pedirle una canción A la vertiente del sereno Traigo en ofrenda aquí no hay más en luna nueva un manto rojo que yo tejí y hojas sagradas de la tierra para pedirle una canción a la vertiente del sereno Vuelve la luz y el amanecer, pinta de verde mi silencio, otro paisaje llevo en la piel y una canción de agua y viento.
So it's day one, two, three. Day eight. And we're making our way up to the one and only pass here in the mountains. Very nice weather. Very nice to have some sunshine. And uh, yeah, a little low on food, but I think uh, it's gonna work out in the end. There's some rivers and some lakes, so that would speed up things and the back backpack is getting much lighter. I still don't know how to pack it properly. It's a bit of a disaster every morning, uh, trying to figure out how everything goes in. Uh, just not used to backpacking. Um, there's a lot less space available, especially for cameras and stuff like that. So I got the camera here, selfie stick here. Uh, I got some more camera gear, batteries, something that I want to have e easy access to. Hanging here, <coughs> bolt one side, tent on the other and uh, back package just for sleeping stuff, food, uh, pack crafting stuff which I think is a bit too heavy and I might need to figure out what I can cut down on but for now we're just moving and uh, should be another four to five days to VO Higgins depending on a few things but I think by now I'm kind of used to the burden a big backpack and I'm moving much better uh, still tiring though
So what has been your solution for the big biting bugs? They're looking at it. Oh, I have a net as well. Okay, we that helps. I just found that you have to kill them. You can't... Oh, the big ones you just kill yeah. them because only like five show, not that they follow you around. Yeah. You kill them. That, that, it takes like 10 minutes for... Start from something like there. Mm -hmm. Because you can see the streaming, right? Like the streaming bumps into the other bank. Yeah, so that's going like to be deepest over there. So the other way would be there. Mm -hmm. There's a dog! Hey! Hello! No, 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 you're dead. Go, go. Back up, back up. Back up. There's a special dog, dog gate. <laughs> it's a bit squeaky, dog. Need to be the boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Hey buddy. How are ya? No, do you ever cross with against the tide then? Like against the stream? So I never do. No, I just I mean in a play like this was a very strong current. Strong current, I mean. Compared to the thing you didn't do? Oh yeah, that that was crazy. Yeah, I, I just went almost the full length of that thing. Mm -hmm. I just went across, you just sidestep like this, and just a little bit forward. Mm -hmm. At some point, you get there. Okay, I see another dog. The alarm has sounded. <laughs> So what brings you here and uh, what do you like the most about being out here in, in the Andes? Um, so I, I wanted to do a, a nice remote trip um, during the uh, European summer. And winter. Yeah, during the European winter. <laughs> and um, I guess South America sort of fit the bill and then I started looking for sort of something that was about 200 kilometers, had a bit of history to it. I wasn't too well traveled. Stumbled across this one, and so far, I've not really been disappointed. Ask the mouth. 
for as long as you are alive. I found my way. I found my way to the water's edge. I found my way to the water. Oh, to the wild light in your eyes. Oh, to the wild light in your So I'm shooting for that point over there, like right around, I hope. I'm gonna check actually the map right now before the seas get too ugly and then I can't, um, then I shouldn't take out my phone. Yeah, so I think I have to go around that point. I don't know how well you can see. You probably can't see anything. Oh, there we go. Uh, so 3K or so in a straight line to the point. And then it should be calmer seas. And I get to the end of the, of the trail and the start of the road. And it's another 40 kilometers to VO Higgins. And I'm not quite sure if there's gonna be any cars or buses, but you never know, might get lucky. Uh, but I'm ready to walk it and it's gonna have to happen in one or two days because I have no food left Hey look, there is an airplane Wow, that looks like a World War II airplane. Exciting. So all in all, I would like to conclude that this is a great time to be out of the water. <laughs> uh, we're getting a lot more white, white sails. I mean, this is still paddleable, just not against it, maybe with it. Uh, so we've got about 40k worth of road. Hopefully there's gonna be a car. I don't wanna walk the whole road. My feet are still suffering a bit, but at least I won't be walking with wet shoes. So I'm looking really forward to walking with dry feet, at least for today or for most of the day, until it rains anyway. Um, yeah so my new trick that i'm gonna do now is roll up all my paddling gear with the boat so that would save some space and i can take more food on the next time around yeah how many roads must the man walk down before you call him a man Seas must do what of sand before she sleeps in the sand. How many times must the cannonballs fly before they're forever banned? The answer, my friend, is blowing in. Oh, it's washed 
I did the math. Um, if I wanted to do this river, it will take about maybe two to four weeks to get to get it done. I think maybe about ten minutes to get around the corner, and then like two to four weeks to find my body and my gear. <laughs> so, not doing that for sure. And I'm gonna take the road just slower than biking, but I think I'm getting the hang out of it. And it's gonna be nice. Hopefully catch some sun tonight. Just a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through this world below. There is no sickness, no toil, nor danger in that bright land to which I go. I'm going there to see my father and all my loved ones who've gone on. I'm just going over Jordan. I'm just going over home. Dark clouds will gather round me. I know my way is hard and steep, but beauteous fields arise before me where God. 
God's redeems their vigils keep I'm going there to see my mother she said she'd meet me when I come so I'm just going over Jordan I'm just going over home I'm just going over Jordan I'm just going 